welcome and hello. Here we are in Quincy, Illinois for the opening game of the Western Big Six Conference for both the uh, United Township Panthers and the Quincy Blue Devils. United Township having to make the long trip down to uh, Quincy, Illinois. We also made the long trip. It was a three hour plus drive, but well worth it. You can definitely feel the uh, excitement in the crowd. Uh, pretty good crowd here down at Quincy, Illinois. Uh, to witness this game. Should be a pretty good game. UT comes with a record of two and two. Um, those two losses were to two very uh, good teams in the state of Illinois in Aurora West and uh, Chicago Bogan. Chicago Bogan State rated in Illinois. Uh, Quincy, they're 4-0 on the season. They uh, disposed of their opponents a little easier than United Township did with uh, an average victory of 41 points in them four games. So uh, Quincy might have played some uh, cupcakes to start the season while well, United Township played three excellent squads and then they played Chicago Tilda which was also a very good game um, it was actually the best U game that UT played as a team as a complete unit so uh, see how the Panthers uh, play tonight should be uh, competitive throughout Quincy's got a lot of uh, a lot of height looking through their uh, looking through their roster they've got a uh, few guys over six foot seven and a couple guys above six foot five, so they're gonna have some good height. And uh, they're led on the court by Douglas. He's uh, he's leading them this year in scoring, Devin Douglas. And D'Angelo Dean, D'Angelo Dean is actually the leading scorer. But uh, either way, gonna be an exciting game. UT's led on the court by uh, Tavian Johnson. He's the senior leader for the Panthers, along with. Uh, uh, DJ McDowell and uh, and Overton. Um, sorry if you can't see the court here on this uh, on the right side, the, which will be the U UT's uh, uh, basket for the first half. There's uh, the student section right in front of us, so no big deal. But we can see three quarter court the rest of the way around, and it should be a raucous crowd tonight here from uh, the Quincy um, the Quincy Blue Devils. So. Uh, See how the Panthers turn out. They uh, again are two and two. They play tomorrow night at home against Dixon. Their first game at the Panther Den this year, and uh, be nice if you could come out and support the United Township Panthers. Should be one heck of a ball game for the Panthers. Uh, Dixon's a little down, but let's uh, see if we can't execute and play well tonight and tomorrow and sweep the weekend series. Next week we're going to play re three real tough teams. Uh, um, in um, Damport West on the road over at Damport West. Friday night, going to play at Rock Island at the Rock Island Fieldhouse against the defending Class 3A state champions. And then Saturday night, we're going to take on Danport Central, another pair of Blue Devils, and uh, Zachary Burnham. Going to get the start of the game here. First time down here to Quincy for myself, and uh, I've heard the intro is something special, something really uh, cool to be seen. So game's going to get started here. We're going to get the starting lineups, but... We're gonna check out things here real quick. And first for the UT Panthers, they're starting to line up. Lights are turned out, obviously, as you can see. Quincy has a very strong tradition, and everyone in attendance is on their feet. You can, I see some flames. That's, uh, that looks like May. Can't really hear much. Yeah, it is May. That looks like Overton. That's going to be DJ McDowell. That's Tavian Johnson, and rounding it out is Dokulis. Now come the starters for the Quincy Blue Devils. And here comes the Blue Devil.
He's out around center court looking to intimidate United Township. Runs in front of their home bench and he circles around the court. Stops in front of the uh, student section. Here come the starting lineups from the Quincy Blue Devils. Davis. <laughs> Number 13, Mason Fairley. Bear with me, the lights are turned out. I can barely read my program. Uh, that's number 12. Cole Abbey, I wish I'd have brought my nightlight. Can't see anything up here, up in the bird's nest. That's number five, D'Angelo Dean. D'Angelo Dean is the leading scorer. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the play and sing. Now we'll rise for the singing of our uh, national anthem. Just about ready to get started here in Quincy, Illinois. First game of the Western Big Six for United Township and the Quincy Blue Devils to bring the lights back on. So makes it a little easier on the eyes now. So see how things turn out again. This is a Quincy program with a lot of tradition on the right side of the court. They've got, looking at it, 1,894 wins. And still counting. That's unreal. Well, here's the opening tip. About to get underway here again in Quincy, Illinois. I'm Brian Medina bringing you some commentary from Quincy, Illinois. On camera is my father, John Medina. Uh, you guys are getting a Family Ties production. Going to be over at United Township's Panther Den tomorrow night at 6.30. Come check out the boys. Tonight we're going to do something a little different. If you're tuning in and you're interested in choosing a player of the game, go ahead and text me at 563-320-2982 at the start of the fourth quarter. Voting will end with one minute to go in the fourth. Tavian Johnson tips this one up against Dean. That one's tipped over. he has got the ball. UT starts off with their first possession. See if we can't start off strong and get the whole team involved here early. Quincy coming out a little bit of a man-to-man. -man. Overton with the ball. Top of the key. Looks to get something going here for UT. Finds, that one's kicked away. 
That one was kicked by Martin Cavittle. We've got 7.45 to go, first quarter. Overton with the ball, top of the key. Looks to get something going for UT. UT coached by Mark Polite as usual. Assisted by Scott Hardy, Mike Crawford, and David Robinson. Overton, top of the key, gives it up to May. May's looking to get Douglas. Douglas is down there banging in the lane. That one's turned over by May. Errant pass early by the sophomore. That's Cole Labby, brings it across half court for the Devils. Quincy pitching around, trying to get something going against this UT defense. UT's on a little bit of a man to man. That's Abby. That shot from three is up, no good. From Mason Cavittle, shots up in the lane. That one was Davis, no good. Gonna be a foul called. That's gotta be going against Davis. Yeah. No. Actually going to call that one on number five, D'Angelo Dean. Thought Davis was the one banging down there, number 31, but the referees thought otherwise. So D'Angelo Dean, their best player, has a foul already. So see if we can't get him in early foul trouble. Tavian Johnson breaks the press. Shots up. And good. UT's up early. Two to nothing. Three ticks just inside of seven minutes to go in this first quarter. Abby back in a hurry for the Blue Devils. Shots up. Charging called. Big call against the Blue Devils already. Got their two guards with a foul. Just like that, 6.48 to go first quarter. Quincy Blue Devils already have two team fouls. Quincy picking up in a full court press. That's Overton over to May. May gives it back to Overton. UT breaks the press, no problem. Finds McDowell underneath the basket. That one's off his knee and out of bounds. Let's see how UT weathers a storm here. That one's a leap. Big deep pass, tipped off the fingers. They tried to break the press on the deep pass to Mike Davis. Errant throw from Mason Fairley out of bounds and UT gets the ball back. Let's see how UT weathers the storm. Yeah, um, Quincy came out, had the Blue Devil with the pitchfork, all lit up, had the crowd pumped up and early on we're up two nothing so they're handling the pressure well. Overton drives the lane, can't get a shot off, finds Douglas left corner. Had back to May, top of the key. McDowell drives, shots up, right wing, and that's good. Four to zero, UT up. Johnson and McDowell both with a bucket. Davis looks to get it up court. Finds Dean. Dean looks to break the press. That's going to be a hold call. That foul is on DJ McDowell. It is a Family Ties Productions. I'm Brian Medina. Bring you some commentary from Quincy, Illinois. First game of the Western Big Six Conference for the UT Panthers and the Quincy Blue Devils. There's a heck of a way to start your conference season down here in Quincy. Davis. Finds Cavittal, top of the key, shot from just inside of three, he's good. Four to two. We got McDowell open up court, can't get it to him. Overton breaks the press, no big deal. Looks to set up the offense now for United Township. Overton with Davis in defense. Looks to penetrate, drives the lane, shot from McDowell, just inside of three point, no good. That rebound by Cole Abbey. Quincy, they can get it ahead, they've got some numbers. They find D'Angelo Dean, that one's stolen away. We got numbers back the other way, Overton. Goes up with a layup, it's up and good. So our three big scorers already have a bucket with 5.35 to go, first quarter. Cavittle finds, that's Cavittle from three. Tavian Johnson with the rebound. Looks to get it up court, finds Overton. Got it at layup, it's up and good. We're up eight to two, and that's a quick timeout from Coach John Taylor. Big start from the Panthers, 5.23 to go here in this first quarter. Panthers have had two 4 0 spurts here already. So, again, 5.23 to go in the first, and I was kind of interested to see how UT would handle the uh, handle the pressure. Came in, and Quincy's got the crowd real loud. And they get the starters introduced with the devil in the pitchfork, have the fire burning on the end of the pitchfork. Kind of neat, but we've weathered the storm so far. Let's see if we can't keep it going. It's still early, a lot of basketball left. That's Cole Abbey, breaks half court. That's Cavittle, looks to drive the lane, shots up, and good. Nice drive and layup, drove the baseline, went underneath the hoop and converted on the two. Overton, gonna be fouled, that one's gonna go on Davis. 
That's Mike Davis. I remember him from the football field. He was a six foot three tailback for the uh, Blue Devils, and we came down here week uh, week six of the regular season, week three of the Big Six, and he was a beast to take down for UT on the football field. May gets that one into Overton. Overton looks to penetrate this man-to-man -man defense from the Blue Devils. That's McDowell, top of the key. Douglas thought about three, didn't do it. That's May, right side. That one's going to go against McDowell. That's his second. So the senior McDowell, a little bit of foul trouble. Coach Polite pulls somebody off the bench. It looks like it's Simon, and it is. That's number four, Jonathan Simon. John's a five-foot-eight senior guard for the Panthers. So UT still got all four, star four other starters into the game, and Simon. Abby brings it across half court for the Blue Devils. That's Davis, top of the key. Finds Abby here, left wing. Cabittle over the quarter. That's fairly, shots up, no good. Rebounded by Deans, up and good. They cut the lead to four, eight to four is the lead. Trevor May with the ball, three quarter court. Looks to break this Blue Devil full court man to man, and they do. Overton with the ball, top of the key, finds Simon right side. Gives that one up to May. May finds Johnson from the free throw, one dribble, shots up, no good. Simon with the rebound, gives it to Tavian, ball's loose, traveling is called. Thought we had either a jump ball there, maybe even a little bit of a push, but it was a loose ball situation and the referee could have called it either way they wanted to. Probably not gonna get all our calls down here in Quincy. Pretty sure no refs made the trip three hours down south to Quincy, Illinois, but from East Moline. So we're gonna have to deal with the officiating, which should be fine, but see how it turns out. We got four quarters of real tough basketball. End of the game for Quincy is number 40, Jason Solren. Sowen finds Cabido. That's Dean down the block. Shots up. Foul in the attempt. He's going to go to the line for two. Jonathan Simon came in for DJ McDowell. He picks up his first foul. <laughs> Dean hits the first. Hit some bolts, so that's a tie game. We were just up 8-2 a little over two minutes ago and just like that, it's 8-all. Overton, oh, he's gonna go over and back. Stepped on that half court line. Quincy picked up a little half court pressure. And that's Fairley with the ball now here on the left side. Looks to drive the lane and does, shots up, no good. That one's rebounded by Simon. He finds May. May to Douglas. Douglas back to May, top of the key, finds Overton right side. UT trying to set up the offense now. That's Douglas, top of the key, finds Overton, left wing. Overton gonna get called for a traveling. D'Angelo Dean here on this left wing. Let's get something going for the Blue Devils. Committal thought three, didn't take it. Looks to drive the lane. Finds Klein. That's in the corner, that's Fairley. Fairley looking to get something going here for Blue Devils. Cross court pass to Committal. One dribble, shots up just inside of three. No good, air ball, rebound Johnson. Johnson gets that one to Douglas. Douglas back to Overton. Overton to get some press. He's got it here on the left wing. Looks to get something going. Finds Johnson, top of the key. See if he doesn't pull the three, he does. Kaboom! 11 to eight, UT ahead. Big shot from Johnson, UT was struggling. Blue Devils were on a 6-0 run. And he stopped that one with a long range three-pointer. Klein, top of the key, that one's nearly stolen away. And is gonna be, a, that's gonna be a kick on Quincy, so we are gonna get the ball back. Nice defense from Overton. 
checking into the game is Avery Pearl. Last game Avery Pearl played in against Tilden. He had 13 points, or he had 13 points. He had 11 of them from the free throw line. So let's see if Avery can't get some big minutes here in the first Western Big Six game of the year. And that's Tavian Johnson gets that one into Overton. A little bit of pressure from the Blue Devils. Fine May here on this left side. That's Overton, top of the key. Again, looks to get the offense going for the Panthers. Johnson sets a pick. Nothing doing. Overton looks to shoot a three. Shots up. No good. Rebounded by D'Angelo Dean. Stolen away. Nearly stolen away. And that's Cole Abbey. Breaks half court. Tipped away. And it's stolen away by Johnson. Johnson against Dean. See if we can get some points here. That one's tipped away. Traveling's called. De Dean tipped that one away. Tavian didn't have possession, but they're going to call the travel. Coach Polite's over here telling Tavian just to calm down. Just play the game. Play the game we can play. See how things turn out after four quarters. We got 1.45 to go here in the first. Cole Alby brings it across half court for the Blue Devils. D'Angelo Dean, top of the key. Finds Cavittle. That's, that's fairly driving the lane. Shots up from the free throw line. And good. 11 to 10. UT still up by a point. We have yet to trail here in this first quarter. Overton breaks half court. Finds May, top of the key. We got Overton here right side. Finds Tavian Johnson on the baseline. Overton shot from three. Come on. We are lighting up from three early. That's our second three-pointer here in this first quarter. 14 tens the lead. Hand checking call. That goes on Simon. That's his second. So we've got two guys with two fouls here in this first quarter. We've got four team fouls here in this first quarter to Quincy's three. That one's tipped away about by May out of bounds. Zach Burry on the baseline trying to get it in play for the Blue Devils. Burry finds Dean down the block. Shots up. No good, but they're going to call a foul on Pearl. Thought Avery went straight up. Coach Polite thought the same. And that's our fifth team foul, so. We need to slow down on them fouls. They're going to be shooting free throws here the rest of the half. And this is a Family Ties Productions. I'm Brian Medina bringing you some commentary from Quincy, Illinois. Dean misses the first. Hits the second. He's three of four from the line. Quincy's back down 14 to 11. That one's tipped away. Johnson with the ball, left wing. Looks to drive the lane. Foul before you get anything going. A double dribble. We got 47.2. Quincy has the ball back on the fan on double dribble call. Cole Abbey breaks half court. That's Davis here on the left side. Finds D'Angelo Dean right wing. That's Fairley. Back over to Cole Abbey. Top of the lane. Shot from three. No good. That's going to be a jump ball opportunity. Going to be a timeout, Quincy. Good play by D'Angelo Dean. Scorer with 26.8 to go first quarter. Quincy Blue Devils 11, United Township Panthers 14. Both teams going to break the huddle. Quincy going to retain possession on the timeout. Nice play by D'Angelo Dean. We've got, again, 26.8 left in this first quarter. Quincy Blue Devils see if they don't take one last shot here before the end of the first. They get this one into Dean. He's going to get called for a traveling. One too many steps. 
So we got 25.3. See if we can't get one last shot. That's May. Looks to break the press from Quincy. And does. That one's nearly stolen away and is by Cole Abbey. We got 10 seconds. He's got one last chance here to get some points for the end of the first quarter. Abbey looking to set something up for the Blue Devils shot from three. No good. Long range rebound. Goes out of bounds with one second left. Quincy going to have one more chance at another shot. Checking into the game. That's number 21, Matt Osborne. <laughs> Fairly finds Cole Abbey, shot from three, no good. And that's gonna be the end of the first quarter. UT never lost lead in that first quarter and after one quarter's in the books. Scores United Township 14, the Quincy Blue Devils 11. the huddle to start the second quarter. On this court for UT is Pearl, Johnson, McDowell, Overton, and May. Only starter not in the game is Dokulis. Cole Abbey breaks half court, gets it to Dean right side. Looking to get something going here for Quincy. That's Davis, top of the key. Foul call. That one's going to go against Quincy. We'll take that call. We got 7.48 to go now in this first quarter. Or excuse me, in this second, qu second quarter. 14-11, to 11, the uh, UT weathered the storm from uh, Quincy there in that first quarter. Kind of had a little pressure to start the game. That's going to be a push. That one's going to go on Davis. That's his second. But again, uh, to start the game, Quincy came out, dimmed the lights, brought the Blue Devil out, had a pitchfork in his hand, and had the crowd on their feet. It was a pretty loud crowd to start the game, and UT's kind of quiet, silenced them really here in this whole first quarter. Here we are, 20 seconds into the second, and UT's up 14 to 11. Just as I say that, the student section gets real loud. With seven and a half minutes to go in this second quarter, May, left wing, finds McDowell. McDowell drives the baseline, shots up. Off the, high off the backboard, no good. Rebound, Cavito looks to get something going, finds D'Angelo Dean. Dean finds Abby, shots up, no good. Rebound, Overton gives it up to Johnson. Johnson looks to bring up this right side, and Overton, Calmly gets the offense started. Drives lane, shots up, foul on the attempt. They're going to call the foul on the court. Calling the foul on the ground. That's the sixth foul against Quincy, so we're going to be in the bonus the rest of the way. McDowell, the ball on the baseline, finds Johnson. Johnson shots up. No good. That was nearly stolen away. That's going to be a foul against May. That's UT sixth. <laughs> That's Cavittle bringing it across half court for the Blue Devils. Finds Davis here, left side. That's Zach Burry. Burry finds D'Angelo Dean, right side. That's Cavittle, top of the key. 
Committal over to Burry. Burry looking to get the offense started, gets it to Dean down the block. That one's high in the air. Cavittal gets the loose ball. Cavittal here on the right wing, drives the lane. Nothing doing, finds D'Angelo Dean down the block. Again, he has the ball against Johnson. Shots up in the lane. No good. Rebound. Batted around, batted around, and it's Johnson with the ball. We got 6.23 to go. UT with possession and up by three. Over to him with the ball now. Brings it across half court. Looking to get the offense started for United Township. Finds McDowell, left wing. Looks to drive the lane. Overton in the corner, shot from three. No good, rebound Douglas, back up with it. Blocked away by Dean. Big block from Dean. The middle breaks half court. Looks to drive the lane. Can't find anybody. Looks to find Davis, Davis with the ball. Can't get a shot off, that's McDowell with the ball now. Breaks half court, not really any kind of numbers. Drives the baseline, shots up, no good. But he is gonna go to the free throw line. McDowell up to the free throw line, shots up, and good. McDowell misses the second. Pass Cavittle, breaks half court, finds Fairley in the corner, shot from three, no good. Burry with the rebound, back up with it, shots up high with the backboard, no good again. Over to with the ball. Gives it up to Johnson. Johnson drives lane. Shots up. Yeah, no good. Tip in from McDowell's up and good. 17 to 11. Back up by six. Matching our largest lead of the first half. Davis gives the ball up to Cavittle. Cavittle looks to bring it across half court. And does. Overton in real tight defense. Burry with the ball. Finds Davis. Jump the free throw line. Shots up. A little too strong. Rebound. Batting around. Batting around. Davis. Gonna be off of him and out of bounds back to United Township. Overton finds Johnson, top of the key shot, just inside of three. That's up and good, 19 to 11. Up now eight, our biggest lead of the night with 4.45 to go in the second quarter. Cavittle breaks half court. Finds Angelo Dean, shots up. That was no good. Rebound, fall four. They're gonna call a foul. And this one's gonna go against, against John Dokulis. Gonna send D'Angelo Dean to the free throw line for a one-on-one. That one's up, no good. Rebound by Quincy, though. That one's tipped away, tipped away. Shot from Burry from the corner. No good, rebound Davis. He goes back up with it, shots up, and good. Davis gonna have an opportunity for a three-point play. Into the game, number 40, Jason Salarin. Checking out is D'Angelo Dean. Davis's shot from the free throw line. His up, no good, real strong on that one. Johnson with the rebound, finds McDowell here right side. Overton brings it across half court. Quincy trying to pick up a little bit of pressure here. They got Douglas wide open underneath the basket. Misses the layup. Rebound. Rebound by Sauron. Big miss. We got four minutes to go in the second. Cole Abbey breaks half court. Shots up. No good. Rebound. Davis up. No good again. You got numbers. May and Overton. May looks to drive the lane. Shots up. No good, but he is going to go to the line.
May at the free throw line. Trying to add the UT six point lead with 3.53 to go here in the second quarter. Hits the first. May goes the free throw line for the second. And the soft hits them both. 3.50 to go. Panthers up eight. Abby breaks half court, finds Davis. Davis over to Fairley. Fairley to Dean. Down here in this baseline. That's Abby shot from three. No good. Rebound, Overton. UT needs to get back. They had numbers, but couldn't quite get the offense going. That's Overton. Breaks half court. Over to May. May to McDowell, top of the key. McDowell drives lane, shot from Johnson, inside of three, call for a travel. <laughs> Officials calling a little tighter tonight than they were last weekend. Out at, uh, out at Rock Island. Committal to Davis, top of the key, Davis. Not going to shoot it from out there. Finds Abby here in the right wing. That one's over to Cabittle. Cabittle looks to drive the lane against the UT defense. That's Fairley here in the left wing. Looks to drive the lane. Shots up. No good. Rebound McDowell. Johnson's up ahead of the crowd. Looks to. That one's nearly stolen away and is out of bounds off of Cabittle. UT's going to have it underneath their own basket with 2.55 to go here in this second quarter. McDowell looks to get it in for the Panthers. That one's tipped away, out of bounds. Stays on this side of the court. You leading the way for the Panthers. Our Overton and Johnson both with seven. Neither one has a foul, which is a big stat for UT. May with the ball, gets McDowell. McDowell looks to drive the baseline. Johnson. Johnson on the pass, gives it back to McDowell. McDowell was on the out of bounds line. Quincy gonna get the ball back with 2.50 to go here in this second quarter. That's Cavittle. Here on the right side, finds Abby. Abby right around half court. Gives it up to Fairley. Fairley drives the lane. Foul's gonna go against May. That's his second. So that's gonna send, uh, that's gonna send the Blue Devils back to the free throw line. That's the ninth foul, so the last one on one here for the half for the Quincy Blue Devils. Hits the first. Hits them both, 21-15 through 36 to go, second quarter. McDowell gets this one up to Overton. Overton finds McDowell. McDowell the ball right side, trying to get the offense going. Gives over to Overton, shot from, oh, I thought he was gonna take the three. Foul's gonna go against UT. UT's Avery Pearl. Come on. Two twenty to go. Cole Abbey breaks half court. Finds Fairly. Fairly gives it back over to Abbey. Abbey shot from long range three, and it's good. Cuts the lead in half. It's down to three. DJ McDowell with the ball now breaks half court. McDowell drives the lane. Can't get anything going. That one's tipped away. Stolen away by Dean. Dean and Abby, Dean gives it up to Abby. Out of bounds off McDowell. Nice puzzle play by McDowell to stop that fast break. That 
shots up and good from Davis. So the lead down to one with 1.40 to go in the second. Overton now with the ball, breaks half court for UT. Finds Johns top of the key, that's a foul, gonna go against Dean. That's Dean's second. That's the ninth against Quincy, so we're gonna go to the line for one on one here. Tavian needs to make him pay, need to get a couple free throws here. We got 1.32 to go in this second quarter. Panthers up by one. <laughs> Misses the first. That rebounds by Sauron. Committal here right side, drives the lane, shots up. No good, wild shot. Sauron with the rebound, finds Fairley here in the left wing. Sauron drives the lane, shots up. No good. Rebound by Johnson. Off of Sauron, out of bounds. UT gets the ball back. What's this official looking at? What's he looking at? Unreal, what is, what is going on here? One thirteen left in this first half. Panthers up 21-20. McDowell gets that one into Overton. Overton to May. May to McDowell. McDowell here in the left wing. Finds Overton, top of the key. Down to one minute to go in the first half. Overton to Johnson. Johnson on the left wing. Johnson over Overton, top of the key. Finds McDowell. McDowell drives the baseline. Shots up. No good. Rebound by Davis. Gives it up to Com to Camille. Camille gets that one. Tips whip. Nice deal by McDowell. Gets it up to Johnson. He's by himself. Throw it down. And he does. That's got to be intentional. And it is. Johnson with the slam. Intentional foul call on the slam dunk. He's going to go to the line. No, don't change the call. That's an obvious intentional foul call. No. We got 35.8. Tavian's going to go to the free throw line. We're down three. Down three. 23 to 20 is Quincy. And it is an intentional foul. Obvious intentional foul. Could have only been intentional or intentional. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he was looking at to try to change that call, but there was only one official who wanted to change it. <laughs> nice slam by the big guy. We're up 23-20, 35.8, so we're going to get a free throw and get the ball out of bounds. Johnson hits the first. Johnson in line for the second. Misses the second. But we are going to get the ball on the sideline. Actually going to give it to us on the baseline. So let's see if we can't get some more points. Already a three-point possession with 35.8 left. McDowell looks to get it in, finds May, top of the key. May to Overton out here on this right wing. That's Douglas, top of the key. We got 25 seconds left. UT looking for one last shot. Overton right around half court. Overton finds Douglas. Douglas top of the key to McDowell. Pass Douglas, thought about three, didn't take it. We got 10. Overton with the ball. UT looking to get one last shot. Overton looks to drive the lane, under five. Need to get a shot off at least. Shots up inside of three, no good. Rebound. Is by Sauron, and that's going to be the end of the half. After one half of play, the United Township 24, and the Quincy Blue Devils 20.
Second half about to get underway. UT gonna have the ball. That's John Douglas gives it to Overton. UT's up four after one half. Could have been a lot more. Seemed like UT really dominated that first half, but just a four point lead. Overton gets it to Johnson. Johnson at the free throw line, drives the lane, shots up, and good. UT up by six. Johnson's into double figures. He's got 12 points. D'Angelo Dean looks to drive the lane, finds Davis from the free throw line, shots up, and good. 26-22, seven and a half minutes to go in this third quarter. McDowell with the ball now, looks to drive the baseline, can't get a shot off, finds Douglas in the lane. Can't get a shot, Douglas finds May. May to Overton, Overton top of the key. Johnson here left wing. Johnson drives lane, finds McDowell. No shot from three, drives lane. To May, shots up on the baseline, up and good. A little more offense here in the second half. 28-22 the score, Panthers up by six. Dean down the block, can't get a shot off. That's a shot from Cavittle from three. Rattles around, no good, rebound May. May gets it up, and that's stolen away by Abby. Abby stolen away by Johnson. Back and forth second half, or you only played about a minute here in the second half. Overton with the ball here in the left wing. Overton finds Johnson, top of the key. Johnson over to May, right side. That's Douglas, see if he can't find his shot. Nothing doing. Overton looks to drive the baseline. Shots up. Nice move. Now Overton's got nine, and we're back up by eight. Again, our biggest lead, matched again. Yet to trail all night. 6.15 to go, third quarter. Dean down the block, one dribble, shots up, and good. <laughs> Dean's only got seven points, but he is leading the way for the Blue Devils. Overton finds McDowell here on the left wing. That's Douglas right side, thought about three, didn't pull it. May, top of the key. Johnson shot from three, right wing, no good. Off the front of the iron, rebound, Angelo Dean. Abby gets it up court. That's fairly drives the baseline. That foul's gonna go against May. Has to be May's third. Again, this is a Family Ties Productions. I'm Brian Medina, bringing you some commentary from Quincy High School, where the Panthers are up 30 to 24 with 555 45 to go in this third quarter. D'Angelo Dean in the lane, one dribble. That's Cavittle. Right wing, nothing doing. Camilla looks to drive the lane, nothing doing again. Cole Abbey here, left wing, nearly stolen away by Overton. Shot from three, Cole Abbey, and it's good. Leads down to three. Overton back in a hurry, as are the Blue Devils. Douglas, top of the key. Finds McDowell, looks to drive the baseline, shots up, and good. 32-27, 5.15 to go, third quarter. Kubitel drives the baseline, shots up, no good. Rebound Dean, no good again. Rebound Davis, and that one's good. Both offenses pick it up here in this third quarter. Overton with the ball here in the right wing now. Overton just inside a half court. Overton finds McDowell. McDowell into Douglas. That one's nearly stolen away. Douglas finds Johnson on the baseline, shots up, no good. Here comes Cole Abbey, that's gonna be a foul on Dokulis. So again, we've got 4.45 left. This is a Family Ties Productions. I'm Brian Medina, bringing you some commentary from Quincy, Illinois. My father, John Medina, doing the camera work. Had some problems with the uh, internet connection here in Quincy. Hopefully we fixed it, fix that. Sorry for the problems in this gymnasium. It's a little tough to get internet signal. Put the bunny ears on to see if it works here in the second half. Cavittle with the ball now. Gives it up Davis. Shot from the baseline. That one's up. No good. Rebound Dean. Back up again. No good. They're going to call a foul, though. <laughs> kind of a wild shot by Dean. And they're going to call a foul on UT. And that foul's on Johnson. Just his first. D'Angelo Dean shots up, no good. <laughs> of 
Quincy's five for nine from the free throw line. Hits the second. That's Overton here on the right side of the court. Finds May. Overton looks to bring it across half court and does in time. That's Johnson, that one's stolen away by Abby. He's got it back in a hurry, shots up. That's gonna be a foul on Johnson again. That's his second in less than a minute. Four sixteen left in this third quarter. Cole Abbey goes to the free throw line with an opportunity to tie the game with two makes. Hits the first. Rebound Johnson. Gets the one to McDowell. No foul call on Quincy, sure enough. <laughs> McDowell drives lane, shot from three, Overton. No good. Rebound. He's got Cavill up, and they can't convert. They had a two on nothing break there. That's Johnson. Drives lane. Shots up. Dunks it. Throws it down with authority. His second dunk of the night. That was thrown away by McDowell. He's got a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Shots up. No good. Fouls on the ground. Nice steal by McDowell. That foul goes against Davis. That's going to be his third. Timeout, Coach Polite. Going to be a quick one. We've got 350 left here in this third quarter. <laughs> 350 left in this third quarter. 34-31 is the score. <laughs> Panthers with the ball down on the baseline. Whoa! D'Angelo Dean knocked Johnson to the ground. <laughs> Referees are having a conference while that was all going on. Altercations over with. UT with the possession, 34-31. That's a foul, that's gonna go against Davis. And if it is, it's his fourth. He's been a real bruiser all. Oh, gonna go against 13. That's uh, his third. That's on Fairley, his third foul. McDowell looks to bring it in from the baseline. Finds Overton. Overton, see if they can't get the ball down to Avery down the block. That's going to be a foul. That one's going to go against Pearl. That's Avery's third. We already have five team fouls with 3.46 to go in this third quarter, so. Hope that doesn't stay the same here the rest of the half. Cole Labby with the ball gives it to Cavittle. Cavittle looks to dry the lane. Nothing doing for the Blue Devils. That's fairly shot with the free throw line. Blocked away by May. Johnson with the ball now. And that's going to be a foul on Cavittle. That's going to be Cavittle's second. That's the third of the half for the Blue Devils.
May with the ball now finds Overton. Overton looks to bring it across half court and does. Gives it up to Johnson here on the left wing. Johnson gives it up to Overton. Overton and Douglas shot from three. No good. Rebound Overton back up with it and good. 36 31. Panthers up by five. Committal here right side finds Abby. Abby drives the lane. Gonna be a foul call. That goes against McDowell. And that's gonna be McDowell's third. So now McDowell's got three. Pearl's got three. And Douglas has three. And Overton has three. So we got four guys with three fouls. Simon has two and Johnson has two. That was nearly thrown away. Sauron steps on the out of bounds line and is a turnover by the Blue Devils. A careless turnover from Quincy. Davis back into the game with them, three fouls. Quickly Sauron back out of the game after the turnover. May with the ball here on the right sideline. Finds Johnson in the baseline, shots up. No good. Rebound for and Kavittle with comes up with it. That's Abby. Nearly stolen away. He gets it back. Finds fairly. That one's tipped out of bounds by Douglas. Nice defense from John. Got back up court. Tipped that one out of bounds to prevent the easy two point bucket. They get this one into Dean. Shots up and good. Three, two, excuse me, 240 left. Now, McDowell finds Johnson, shots up. That one's up and good. High out the backboard. Panthers back up by five. Abby drives the lane, shots up. That one's up and good. Nice soft touch. May finds McDowell. McDowell here on the right side. McDowell shots up, blocked away by Dean. They've got numbers. Dean by himself, throws it down. Blue Devils back within a point with 2.05 to go in the third. Overton with the ball now. UT trying to set up a good offensive set. Up by just a point, two minutes to go in this third quarter. McDowell the ball, left wing, finds Johnson top of the key. May to McDowell, McDowell looks at drive lane, finds Douglas, shot from three. Bingo! Big shot, John Douglas from the right wing. Puts UT back up by four. Fairly finds Dean down the block. Shots up, no good, blocked away by McDowell. Overs with the ball, back by himself. Shots up, no good. Rebound by Abby. Gets back up, Quincy's got numbers. A little four on two, alley up to Dean. Davis with the rebound, shots up, no good. Rebound Dean again. That was gonna be a foul though, it's on the ground. But Quincy is in the bonus with 120 to go in the third quarter. That's against Douglas, and that's gonna be his fourth, so he might sit down for a little bit here. <laughs> Dean at the free throw line. Front side of the 101 is up and good. One twenty to go, Quincy down by three. Dean's second is also good. Overton looks to bring the ball across half court for the Panthers, finds McDowell here on the left side. McDowell over to Overton. Overton looks to drive the lane and does. Gets a shot off, it's up. Foul, looks as if it's is it on the ground or what's the, didn't count the basket or what? One five block and it was on the ground. You two the ball out of bounds. That's the fourth team foul now against the Blue Devils. Over to the top of the key. Less than a minute now to go in this third quarter. McDowell left wing. Overton gives to May. May top of the key. Finds Johnson. Johnson thought three, didn't pull. Shot from the free throw lines up and good. 
He's leading the way. He's got 18 points. Panthers up by four. Committal with the ball, brings half, breaks half court for Quincy. Finds Dean, shot from three, Committal is good. They're back within a point. Less than 30 seconds to go in the third. Overton looks to bring it across half court and does. UT's got 15 seconds left in the third. Overton looks to drive the lane against Davis and does, shots up, blocked away. That one's loose, Davis with the ball, gets it up court, throws it wildly, I'm not sure why. He still had a bunch of time, there's 1.6 now, left in this third quarter. Sorry about the connection issues again. We're gonna have it uploaded tomorrow so you can watch the game. We do have a videotape of the game, so there's gonna be a tape of the game up tomorrow. Sorry about the connection issues. Gymnasium doesn't have wireless, and. Not very good audio. Oh, shot from three up and no good from Overton. Three-quarter court. And after three quarters are now in the books. Scores a Quincy 43. Excuse me, UT 43, Quincy 42. to break the huddle to start the fourth quarter. Again, UT's up by a point. This is an actually, this is a pretty big game here down at Quincy. Not a lot of teams come down to Quincy and come away with a win, so if we can start the season at 1-0 in the Big Six with a big win here on the road, get this trip out of the way, that would be huge, but we've got 17 fouls. The Quincy's four up by a point. Douglas is our only player with four fouls. Abby looks to break half court and does. Finds Davis. That's D'Angelo Dean. Gives it up on the committal. Shot from three. No good. Rebound Pearl over the back on Davis. That's his fourth. Again, I'm Brian Medina. Bring you some commentary from Quincy, Illinois. With Family Ties Productions. Tomorrow night, we're going to be at uh, UT's Panther Den. UT going to take on Dixon for the first home game of the season. So come check out the Panthers as they try to uh, start out well. What in the traveling on May as they try to start out the home season uh, with a win. Fairly looks to get it in now. Finds Abby. Abby breaks half court, finds D'Angelo Dean. Blue Devils down by a point. That's Abby here, right wing. Committal, top of the key, finds Abby. Shot from three. No good. Rebound, Overton. Looks to get it up court in a hurry. Drives the lane, shots up. Gonna call a charge on that one. Obvious charge. Gonna be called by the official. Half fouls on Overton. That's his first, team's eighth. Keep creeping up towards that 10 where they're gonna get in the super bonus. Abby, three quarter court. Gets it across half court now for Quincy. Abby looks to drive the lane, trapped in the corner. See if we can't force a turnover, nearly tipped away and is. They're gonna get that one up to McDowell. McDowell looks to drive the lane, shots up and good. UT back up by three. Just two seconds under seven minutes to go in the fourth. Abby brings it across half court in a hurry. Finds Fairley. Fairley outside of three, drives the lane, 
Can't get a shot off, finds Dean. Shots up from the baseline, up, no good. Rebound, Salrin. Salrin nearly loses that when it goes out of bounds. Goes back to Quincy off of May. Nice hustle by the sophomore, though. <laughs> Leading the way for UT is Tavian Johnson with 18 points. And again, we've started the uh, most valuable player text message. Text me at 563-320-2982. If you'd like to choose the most valuable player from the United Township Panthers tonight. Cavittle. Finds Sauer and Salmon from the free throw line. Nothing doing. Finds Dean baseline. That shot's up. No good. They get this one up to Johnson. Johnson against Dean. Shot's up. Going to be another foul. Foul on the shot. He's going to go to the line for two. Tavian goes to the line for two. Try to add to his a team leading 18 points. Johnson at the free throw line. It looks to make it a two possession game. Misses the first. Johnson goes the line for a second. Misses them both. That rebound by Dean gets it to Abby. Quincy back. That one's tipped away out of bounds off of United Township. Johnson just missed two free throws for the game. UT is four of eight. Both teams now in the bonus. Dean with the ball, top of the key, finds Sauron over to Abby. They're looking to find Dean down the block, and they do, against Johnson. Can't get anything going, steal by Johnson. Big play by Tavian. McDowell breaks half court, shot just inside of threes. Up, oh, no good. That one's tipped away, out of bounds. Gotta be off Quincy. What? All the players fighting for the ball and they call a foul on Avery Pearl. That's Avery's fourth. I don't even know if Avery's played two minutes today and they seem to be calling fouls every time he's in a play. We got 542 left. Quincy's at the line for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here. Coach Polite trying to get his guys to play through it. Hits the first. Second one from Fairley's up. And also good, gets them both. They're back within a point, 542 left. Overton gets this one over to May. May back to Overton. Overton crosses half court, finds May, left wing. McDowell on the baseline, drives lane, finds Pearl, shots up, and good. Big shot by the sophomore Avery Pearl. Nearly stole away by McDowell. DJ's played real tight defense all night. Abby breaks half court, looks to drive the lane, shots up, blocked away by McDowell, jump ball, good call by the official. And we're gonna get it back on the alternating possession. 5.14 left, both teams in the bonus. Quincy gonna get the uh, possession arrow back. Quincy's got uh, three timeouts left to UT's four. In 5.14 left, UT up three. May looks to break the press from Quincy and does easily. May looks to dry lane, nothing doing, gives it out to Overton. Coach Polite calling the set. See how UT closes one out, we're under five now, up by three. Need to convert to the free throw line. Pearl from the free throw line. Gives this one up to Johnson. Johnson looks to drive the baseline, shots up. No good, rebound D'Angelo Dean. Abby with the ball now, breaks half court. Nearly stolen away, and is Johnson with the ball. Drives the lane, shots up, and good. Back up by five. Nice try by Tavian, he's got 20. Abby with the ball, that's Sauron. 
Over to Fairley in the lane. D'Angelo Dean, nearly, he's got to be, oh, he's not going to travel there. Dean slipped, fell, rolled. And they're going to call a timeout, and Quincy's going to get the ball back underneath their own basket. Okay, this is a Family Ties Productions. I'm Brian Benita, bringing some commentary for Quincy, Illinois, for UT's first home game of the season. Going to be around all season long, bringing you uh, UT sports. On camera, my dad, John Medina. This is my first trip down to a Quincy High School uh, basketball game. A little different. They opened up with the, and a guy dressed up in a devil costume comes out with a pitchfork, and the pitchfork, all the ends are lit up with fire. It was pretty neat. They dimmed the lights down for the starting lineup, and UT just kind of uh, weathered the storm and haven't trailed yet, so they're up by five, and they got 421 left. Need to close this one out. This is a big game in determining how the season's gonna finish in the Western Big Six. UT's getting coached by Mark Polite, assisted by Scott Harding, David Robinson, and Mike Crawford. Fairly looks to get it in for Quincy. Finds Dean, that one to Cavittle. Cavittle, top of the key, shot from Fairley's up, no good. Rebound Pearl, that's gonna be a foul on Pearl, guaranteed. That's a foul on Avery, that's his fifth, and that was a clean rebound. I don't know what exactly. That's Avery's fifth, that's the team's tenth, so. They're now in the uh, Super bonus. <laughs> Avery fouls out with 413 left. That's the tenth team foul on the Panthers. So Quincy's gonna be in the super bonus the rest of the way. Misses the first. <laughs> Dean at the free throw line. Dean's got 14 points. <laughs> Dean second. Is up and good. 49-45. May with the ball. Gets it over to Overton, crosses half court. Finds May, left side. Overton right around the top of the key. Max right around half court, under four minutes now to go. UT up by four. Overton drives lane, shots up. No good, rebound McDowell. Back up with it. No good, rebound Tavian, and it's good. Slaps at it, tips it back up and good. We're up by six with 3.40 left. Committal with the ball, right wing. Finds Davis, Davis from the free throw line, can't get it going. Fairly thought about three, didn't take it. That's Dean down on the block, nothing doing. That one's tipped away, you see we can't come up with a steal. That's gotta be a foul on Dean, he kicked that one. Pushed off on Dokulis. <laughs> 3.25 left, UT up by six. May with the ball now. May finds Overton, UT brings it across half court safety. That was kicked. May gives it to McDowell, thought about three, didn't take it, drives the baseline. Shots up, blocked away. Johnson with the rebound, goes back up with it. Yeah, no good, but he's gonna go to the free throw line. Try to add to that six point lead. Again, uh, we're gonna have this game uploaded tomorrow, so. Sorry about the connection issues, but you'll have an opportunity to watch it tomorrow or Sunday or any time in the future. Johnson at the free throw line. Misses the first. UT's four of nine from the line. 
Up by six with 3.09 left. Johnson hits the second. 52 45, 305 left. Abby gives it up to Davis. Davis, top of the key. Finds Abby, left side. Abby looks to get something going. Drives the lane. Finds Fairley, shot from three in the corner. No good. Rebound. Goes to Abby, shot for the free throws up. And good. Nice soft touch from Abby. Overton gets UT back in a hurry. Nothing doing. We're at 2.40 to go. UT up by five. Overton with the ball. Out around half court, finds May. Timeout, Coach Polite. We've got two and a half minutes left, and we're up by five. And this is a Family Ties Productions. I'm Brian Medina. Bring you some commentary from Quincy, Illinois. UT made the trip down. So did we to bring you the first game of the conference season. UT's up by five. They've got the ball. Really need to hang on here, though. Quincy's got a real strong tradition. If you look at well, I guess you can't look up into the rafters, but there's a couple state championships. One from 34, one from 81. See if UT can't hang a banner this year. We got a team, real solid team with some real good seniors. Two and a half minutes left. UT up by five. See how they close it out. UT going to have the ball here over on the side. Overton with the ball here on the left side. Looks to get it in. Finds Overton, that's gonna be an over in the back. Over and back call. UT turns it over, 229 left. Up by five. Abby with the ball. Finds Fairley, that one off his knee, out of bounds. That's off Fairley's knee, and it's gonna go, and it's gonna go back to UT. So we got a turnover back, right back at us. So let's make him pay here. We got to get some points on this possession, up by five, but 2:20 left. That's Overton here, three-quarter court. Blue Devils picking up full court press. May with the ball. Overton back around half court. Blue Devils have 17 fouls, so we're still just in the one and one. Douglas finds McDowell here, left side. McDowell, right around half court, under two minutes to go. Over to the ball here, left wing. UT running some time. Over to the ball, right around half court, not in any kind of hurry. We got 145 left. This possession started at 220. Overton looking just still to run some time. Davis in defense, got three fouls. Overton, right around half court. Finds Douglas, UT gonna pitch it back out. We're under a minute and a half. UT running some time, Douglas with the ball in the corner. Now he's gonna get called for the foul. That one's gonna go on Kibittle. So let's see how the senior Douglas does at the free throw line. This is a big one and one. Big free throw from Douglas with 124 left and UT up by five. That was the eighth team foul against the Quincy Blue Devils. Douglas missed the first, nearly gets the rebound, but it is picked up by Dean. Back in a hurry, that's Abby, shot from three. No, Fairley drives the lane, shots up, and no good. Could have been over the back on Dean, nothing called. Fairley drives the lane, gonna be a jump ball. I'm not sure what the officials are thinking. The UT fans are up in arms over the officiating all night. And that's Davis the ball here, right wing. Finds committal, top of the key, over to Abby. Abby thought about three, finds Dean. That foul's gonna go against May. He's gonna go to the line for two with 106 left. Oh, 
Again, sorry about the connection issues. She makes him as poor connection down here in Quincy. We'll have this game uploaded tomorrow. Dean misses the first big free throw miss by Dean. Dean is leading the way with 14 points for Quincy. His second is also no good. Rebound, Abby. That one's fa fairly drives the lane. Middle. That's a good charge. Big, big play by who else? None other than Tavia Johnson picks up the charge. So that was the ninth foul. So that was a big foul. I know we're not going to go to the free throw line, but now we're in the super bonus. So. Next time we get fouled, we'll go to the line. We got one on one left. Panthers up five. Trying to improve to one and oh on the young conference season. Two and two overall. Had two real tough losses over the Rock Island Thanksgiving tournament. Douglas looks to get it in. Finds Overton. See if Quincy doesn't foul right away. Overton brings it across half court. Gotta be a foul call there. That's a jump ball. I think it's our possession. I don't know how you don't get a bump or anything there. UT fans not at all happy. They're all standing over here on the left side of us. We just got to weather the storm. We got 54.1 left, up by five. Douglas looks to get it in. That one's tipped away. Dean with the steal. Dean finds Abby. Abby drives lane, shots up, and good. He's got an opportunity for a three-point play. Abby at the free throw line. He's got 13. Looks to add to his total and try to make it a two-point game. Minute out. Rebound Johnson. Gives this one to McDowell. See if we don't give it back to Johnson. Overton. Overton with the ball. Looks to bring it across half court and does. UT up by three. Overton with the ball right on half court. We've got 35 seconds left. There's got to be a foul there. That one's on Abby. That's his second. Abby right on half court being talked to by the officials. Doesn't need to lose his head. Need to get at least one. We got 34.8, we're up by three. Be nice to get both, but we got two shot opportunity here. Panthers up 52-49, the senior Overton at the line. Hits the first. So now we go back up by two possessions with 34.8 left. Second from Overton. It is good. Cooley hits both of them. Two big free throws by the senior. Abby looks to bring it across half court and does. Back in a hurry. Shots up. And it's good. Timeout, Coach Taylor. We've got 28.5 up by three. We're going to have possession. Underneath the Blue Devil basket, we have one, excuse me, the Blue Devils have one timeout remaining. We have three, both teams in the super bonus. Quincy has the possession arrow. Been a hard ball game all night, been real close, real tight, but Quincy hasn't had the lead yet. It was tied at 1.88, but we got to finish strong. We got 28.5 left. We got to hit our free throws. <laughs> coach Polite, head coach for the Panthers, assisted by Scott Harding, Mike Crawford, and Dave Robinson. Tomorrow night, UT plays at the Panther Den for the first home game of the season. Come check out the boys. Got a pretty exciting team this year. UT looks to bring it in. That's gonna be Johnson. Pass it in for UT. He can run the baseline on the made two. Johnson finds Overton. Overton fouled immediately. He's fouled by number 10, Carter Klein. I think they brought Carter in just for the foul. Looks like he's probably checking out here. Oh, 
So Overton going to go back to line for two more. He just hit two big ones. Overton hits the first. Overton with 14. Three big free throws here in the last minute. UT up by four, 27 and a half left. Hits them both. That a boy, Damon. Cole Abbey breaks half court, drives the lane. Can't get a shot off, foul before. He's gonna go to the free throw line with the clock stopped. Abby goes to the free throw line, clock stop. That was McDowell's fourth. Abby hits the first. Abby's second. Is up and good. They're back down by three. Overton with the ball. All kinds of blue dolls on this side of the court. May with the ball. Timeout, Coach Polite. 16.2, we're up by three. Okay, a little quick reset. Both teams in the super bonus. Panthers up 56-53. Coach Polite has two timeouts left. Again, we've got 16.2 left. Got to finish strong. Quincy's got one timeout left, or two. Here down in Quincy, Illinois, playing at the Blue Devils home gymnasium. UT trying to come up with a big road victory here on the road. Down in Quincy, made the three hour trip down south. Seemed like it would never end to get down here, but it did. And it's been an exciting game here, all the way up till 16.2 left. Panthers still need to finish strong. See who Coach Polite has passed it in. I'd like to find Overton. He's four for four here in the last minute. McDowell looks to pass it in. Two best free throws, free throw shooters, Johnson and Overton here on this side of the court. McDowell can't move. Dean in defense there on the sideline. Oh, that was stolen away. That passes up and it's stolen back by McDowell. Out of bounds. Holy cow. 12.2 12.2 left. Quincy back with the ball. They've got a timeout. Let's see if they don't take it. They're not. They're going to take the ball here on the side. Oh my gosh. Quincy with the ball. Again, 12.2. Quincy with the ball here on this right sideline. Timeout, Quincy. T- technical. That better be on Quincy. That had better be on Quincy. That had better not be on UT. What is, no way. No way. They just call it technical with 12.2 left. Double technical. That's a double technical, not just. The only bad part is that's going to add a personal to both players. That's Overton. That's only Damon's second. So. Point two left. Quincy the ball here on the sideline. They just called a double technical on Overton and uh, Cole Abbey. <laughs> Going to be an exciting finish. We got 12.2. Hopefully our internet signal stays active here in the fourth quarter. Oh, this is going to be a wild finish here. So no free throws. Quincy going to get the ball here on the s- side. 
Ball goes to Dean. Dean shot from three. Up, oh, no good. Rebound. Better the way, better the way. Abby shot from three again. No good. Rebound Overton. We got three seconds left. Foul on Quincy. Overton with a chance to end the game at the free throw line with 1.9. My, my heart just jumped through my jumped through my throat. Had two opportunities from three. Both of them hit the rim. Overton's four for four here in the fourth quarter. Actually, the last minute from the free throw line. Has an opportunity here to ice the game. Overton's first. He's got two shots. Hits it. Unless something crazy happens. Should be a Panther victory. We're up by four, the 1.9. Everybody's going over by Coach Polite. Good move by the coach. Yep, good move by the coach. They get it up court. Last shot from three is up. And good. Basket's good, but too little, uh, too late. UT comes away with a big road victory down here in Quincy, Illinois. 58-56. Panthers going to improve to 3-2 and two on the season. Huge win by Coach Polite and the rest of the ball club. That shot from three was up and good from Zach Burry, but... Game was out of reach on two big free throws from Overton. Overton from the free throw line in the last minute went six for six. He scored 17 points. Tavian scored 23, but our Family Ties Productions player of the game is Damon Overton. Uh, six for six from the free throw line in the final minute. We'll do that every game he does it this year. Big win, two big shots from the senior. Uh, tomorrow night, UT's going to play at the Panther Den. Come support UT. Should be a, uh, another good game. See if we can't pl complete the sweep. We're going to play against, uh, again, uh, Dixon. They're going to come in tomorrow night. Going to be at 6.30, and that game's at the Panther Den. First home game of the season. So let's come out and support our, uh, support our boys. Uh, Tuesday night, UT's going to play against Davenport West. On Thursday of next week, girls are going to play against uh, Alleman. They're going to play that game in the boys' gym. Come check them out. Um, next Friday night, we're going to take on Rock Island at the Fieldhouse. So first two weeks of the season, we're probably playing at the two toughest places to play in the Western Big Six. Um, but again, next Friday night we'll be at Rock Island, and the next Saturday we'll be at uh, Danport Central. So, again, big win by the Panthers, 58-56. After one quarter, the Panthers were up 14-11. to At the half, it was 24-20. After three, it was 43-42, and the final score, 58-56. A game in which the Blue Devils, who lose by two and were within striking distance the whole time, never led. So, again, for me, with the commentary, Brian Medina, here at Quincy, Illinois, doing the camera work with my dad, John Medina. We're going to upload the video tomorrow, or uh, Sunday, and you can watch the game. It was a heck of a game here down at Quincy. Glad you could tune in. Sorry for the problems with the internet connection. Couldn't really do anything about it. But, again, this is the Family Times Productions. I'm Brian Medina down here in uh, Quincy, Illinois, signing out. And, again, big win by the Panthers on the road, 58-56. And